Galactic Gossip Enthusiasts. Welcome back to another out-of-this-world episode of Galactic Tea Time, the only show where we spill the cosmic secrets brewed just for you. I'm your host, Gazira the Galactic Diva, broadcasting live from the star-studded Nebula Nonsense Studios, where the only thing hotter than the gossip is the plasma storms outside. Today's topic, a real interstellar mystery. Why some beings, particularly those lovely, endearing sociopaths, choose to spend ridiculous amounts of their precious time orbiting around people they absolutely despise. Why you ask, oh, sweet space dust. I'm so glad you did. Let's dive into the, this black hole irony, shall we? Now picture this, you're a charming sociopath from the icy planet of Sociopathia 9, known for its emotionally void inhabitants. You have endless options, right? Cosmic clubs, asteroid races, or even an enchanting dinner under the binary stars. But no, you decide to spend your valuable time with someone who makes your tendrils curl in disgust. And for what? Connection. Empathy. Oh, please, that's for lesser beings with actual feelings. No, no, the real joy here comes from the twisted art of pretending. What's life without a little performance? Am I right? Think about it, dear earthlings. Spending time with people you enjoy is just so, so boring. There's no challenge in that. No, no, no. Where's the thrill in mutual respect or honest conversation? That's just for the emotionally stunted masses. For the enlightened sociopath, the real fun begins with pretending to care about someone while secretly plotting their demise. Uh, The sweet satisfaction of deceit. It's practically a sport. Now onto the sociopath's daily grind. Wake up, practice your genuine smile in the mirror because you have to nail that micro expression. Then head off to engage with someone whose very existence makes your scales itch. The fun part, you're not just pretending to like them. You're winning the award for best performance in the art of disguised disdain. And folks, that's a role you take very seriously. After all, why waste time with beings you actually want to be with? Where is the excitement in that? It's far more exhilarating to weave a web of deceit, making sure that no one suspects your true loathing. If you're not playing a psychological chess game with every interaction, are you even really living? But let's not forget the piece, the resistance, the energy spent maintaining this delightful ruse. Who needs authentic connection or genuine companionship when you can expend all your energy on mind games? It's not exhausting. It's invigorating. Nothing gets those synapses firing like pretending to care about someone's boring stories or feigning interest in their tedious lives. Why? It's practically a workout for your brain. Who needs a galactic gym membership when you can get your daily burn by juggling lies and deceit? And here's the best part, dear listeners. The sweet, sweet moment when you finally break free. Uh, Yes, the glory sensation of dropping that mask of letting the contempt ooze out like lava from Mount Eruptus. All those pent-up feelings finally unleashed, but wait, no one else can know. That's right, because the real sport here is in the subtlety, the secrecy. You want them to keep wondering, did Gazira really mean that compliment, or was there a razor-sharp edge to those words? Keep them guessing. It's the ultimate game. And you, dear sociopath, are the undefeated champion. So to all the sociopaths out there, I salute your commitment to the craft. You've turned interpersonal connection into an art form, a sport, and a battlefield all rolled into one. Who needs genuine relationships when you can have a carefully curated gallery of enemies, dupes, and rivals? Bravo, you diabolical geniuses. Bravo. Until next time, keep your mind sharp and your social game sharper. This is Gazira, the Galactic Diva, signing off from Galactic Tea Time. May your drama be as infinite as the universe itself. Bye-bye now. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh.